It is a warm summer night on a hilltop far from the bright lights of the city. A group of beginner students in astronomy gazes up at the northern stars, their instructors speaking. And the easiest way to identify the constellations is to start with Ursa Major, the Big Dipper. There it is. It's beautiful. Boy, am I thirsty. Can you pour me a Coke out of that dipper? Very funny, Jimmy. And over there, opposite the Big Dipper, lies Cassiopeia, Queen of the Heavens. Looks like the letter W. Right. Now look carefully. Halfway between the Big Dipper and the Cassiopeia lies Polaris, guiding star of our planet Earth. Hey, this is a drag. Come on, Sue, let's split and go over there by ourselves. Gee, I don't know. Nobody will even notice we're gone. Well, okay, but just for a little while. And there, winding a huge coil around Polaris like a serpent getting ready to strike, lies Draco the dragon. Wow, really looks like a dragon. And hey, look at all those shooting stars. Almost like the dragon is breathing fire right down at us. Oh, well, that's just a meteor shower. But it is unusually bright. I'd swear they landed right over there on the other side of the hill. What an imagination she's got. Hey, isn't this better than being with them? Well, <gasps> Jimmy, look! Huh? Draco, Good Lord, Draco, get down, Sue! Don't move! Draco, those, Draco, those creatures! Draco, they have almost human bodies! And Draco, dragon heads! Draco, They're heading right towards the others! Draco, and look at that one, Draco, bigger than the rest! He looks like he's a dragon, breathing smoke and fire. But he walks like a man. (gasps) I think he sees us. Earth people, hear me and hear me well. I, Draco, king of the dragon men, master of the heavens, from this moment on shall rule over planet Earth. Your fate is sealed. (laughs)